Hello, welcome to the Motel India Show. My name is Roy P. Tharian. I'm here along with my camera person of Sar Beg. We are at the Pitampur plant of Volvo Aisha commercial vehicle. And we are here to interview Mr. Gagandeep Singh Gandhok. He is the senior vice president, HD, that is the heavy duty trucks division of VCV. Welcome to the show, sir. Hi, thank you. Sir, when you talk of heavy duty vehicles, what exactly does it mean? What's the range like in terms of tonnage? Okay. Uh, basically, the heavy duty truck industry starts from 18,500 kgs, that is 19 tons, and goes up to 55 tons, uh, that is basically the, uh, the tractor trailers. It comprises of uh, single axle, uh, then multi axle vehicles, uh, then tractors and tippers. So, so right from 19 ton to 55 ton, the entire range is the heavy duty truck range. Okay, that, that, that's wonderful. And, and what are the USPs of these heavy duty trucks? Basically, you know, uh, the application segment uh, in terms of transportation, it's the first mile, the middle mile and the last mile. Okay. This middle mile, you know, which is the long distances when you have to carry load to long distances and have you got to do some of the tough work like in uh, construction and mining segments, then you use the heavy duty trucks. So basically the heavy duty trucks are meant to be, you know, uh, shouldering the heavy uh, loads uh, which are there in the industry. So. Uh, so majority of the market uh, is uh, huge, it's in the middle segment and the heavy duty trunk industry is the biggest market when it comes to uh, the CV space. Yeah, but in your presentation, sir, you mentioned that, you know, your trucks especially have a great fuel efficiency and, and these are also connected. Are these great USPs for yeah, your trucks? Yeah, 100%. I think, uh, as I mentioned, uh, this is one of the, you know, brand promises which we give. Our brand promise is best in class fuel efficiency, superior uptime and relevant modernization. Best-in-class fuel efficiency is the biggest USP because 50%, 50 to 55% of the overall operating economics of a customer, of a transporter is fuel. And if you make big savings in fuel, it can actually mean a lot of profitability to the customer. Similarly, these are machines. They are, you know, business. They are a source of employment. They are bought to make money. So if they are up and running, so they'll make more money. So that's why uptime is super critical and super important. And relevant modernization, as I told you, that 100% of our trucks are connected trucks. So we are able to bring all the benefits of, you know, the predictive diagnostic, fuel management, fleet management, trip management, which the customer used to do on trip sheets earlier, is everything now powered by the technology which is there in the trucks. So best in class fuel efficiency, superior uptime, and relevant modernization. These are the key pillar cornerstones of our uh, brand promises. And this is the USPs which are going to benefit the customer. Okay, before I get into the uptime center, I would really want to talk about the uptime. I mean, for a layman, does it really mean that you're continuously running the truck? Nothing happens to the truck? No. It's like, uh, it's a machine. Yeah. It can go wrong. But the shortest possible time which you can take to put it back on road you know, that is the uh, effort which we are going to make now. We are making it, we are further going to strengthen it. So how do we do it? We are making more proven, reliable and durable products. We are reaching out with more service infrastructure which is there, more skilled manpower which is there, and using of technology. So it doesn't mean that, you know, 100% of the time will be truck and up and running. But if it goes down, how soon can we put it back on the road is the measure of our time. So how much for how much time the trucks actually available for doing the work. Okay. So that is the promise we are going to make to the customer. And you also, in your presentation, did a point out that you have these spare parts and, and repair availability right at the site for many of the fleet operators. How does it happen? Do you just go and fix uh, for a big client of yours? How does it work? I'm a little confused I think there. Th this is one of the biggest learnings which we have uh, taken from our uh, brand partner, Volvo. You know, they used to do it. They are still doing it. So what happens is that, you know, in the mining segment especially, where the, the tippers and the dump trucks are being used at the site itself, they, these sites are, you know, uh, usually at a distance from the workshop, but they are running continuously. So what we do, we put up all the spare parts which are required to put the back tr truck back on road, the service engineers which are needed, the technicians, the uh, float units, uh, uh, the tools and equipments at the site itself. So that if anything goes wrong, we are there, at the customer doorstep to service him. So this, you know, gives a extreme confidence to the customer that my machines don't have to go anywhere place else. The service is right at my place. 
Okay, so so where where are these? I mean, any day I have to ask you, name a few places where no, these we, are. We gave, you know, one of the toughest sites we have given is in Kargil. There are sites which are moving in Tawang now. We have sites in Silchar, we got sites in Korba, we got sites in Chhattisgarh, we got sites every mining place which is there. Okay. As of now, we have got close to 200 uh, odd sites for 150 customers manning 9,000 trucks and buses. Okay. Very briefly on your uptime center, because we've already done a great story on the uptime center with the, the last time we came here. Uh, are fleet operators really happy about it? Uh, uh, do you think they will continue to uh, continue with the services being offered through this center? 100%. I think uh, as in more and more the proliferation is happening, the younger generation, the professionals are getting into the business. They are actually finding it to be a very useful tool. You know, uh, it, it gives a host of services to the customer at his fingertips now. They can actually see the entire fleet at a touch of the button. They can do the fuel management. They can actually differentiate between good drivers and the bad drivers. They can have all the documents updated at one place. There is a lot of service maintenance schedules which are available. There are pop-ups which are coming up. So, you know, it's actually whatever they used to keep a record, they used to keep a you know, battery of people for doing this job is getting done by the technology now. So more and more usage is happening, more and more customers are asking for integration with their own softwares now. So okay. we see that, you know, this, this thing is really picking up and the customers are getting glued to it now. Okay, and coming to your new set of vehicles which you are launching, or it's, it's just around the corner, can you throw some light on that? Uh, we are calling this uh, series as a non-stop series. Uh, it's like uh, they'll be powered by 300 horsepower, especially in the multi-axle and the tractor segment. So as I explained, uh, the the better horsepower, the better torque, so lesser of gear changes, lesser of fatigue to the driver, and better fuel efficiency to the customer. Again, uh, since they are more proven and uh, reliable and durable trucks, they'll be more up on the road running and giving profit to the customer. And 100% of them, 100% of them are connected trucks. Okay, so basically these trucks which are being introduced are more powerful, the engines are more powerful. Yes. Aesthetically, they're kind of, they look the same. Yes. As handsome as ever. Yes. <laughs> okay, one last question is, uh, Aisha just came out with its results in terms of its sales numbers um, for, the, for the months just gone by. Right. The figures look very good. Right. There's been a, a double digit growth there and uh, uh, for the first time everything looks upbeat. Now, do you also see the HD segment growing? And more so, let me add to that question is, uh, we are seeing better highways and super highways in India. So do you see this segment, because it's a far more expensive segment uh, in terms of cost, so you see the segment growing now? I think uh, the industry itself is now uh, giving the indications. Uh, last year, uh, when the industry reached in the heavy duty, was 240,000. It grew by 50% over last to last year. Last to last year was 160,000. Last year was 240,000. And the first year, it's, uh, first half itself this year, it has grown by 16%. So the growth story is continuing. We in Aisha in heavy duty, we grew by 80%, 79% to be precise last year. When the industry grew by 50%, we grew by 79%. The first half, the industry grew by 16% and we are growing by 25%. So yes, we are growing. Certain segments, uh, we have reached 30% market share also. In certain specific 300 horsepower plus, we are already at 50% market share. So we are, you know, picking and choosing our battles, we are winning them and we are trying to proliferate into the mass market, which is the tractors and the multi-axles now with this new range which is there. So do you attribute this growth to, to the betterment of our infrastructure or, or and also to perhaps the technologically savvy vehicles? A hundred percent, I think infrastructure plays a big role in this because, you know, there are big and super highways which are there. So the number of kilometers the truck used to clock earlier, now it is clocking it's actually bringing more money to the customer. So the customers are getting more profit out of their machines now. And they are able to use the machines for longer number of years now. So definitely, you know, the infra growth which is there, the, the government policies which are there are very conducive for the growth, overall growth, which is getting reflected in the numbers as well. Plus the technology, the profitability which is being offered by the OEMs and the kind of services which uh, we are offering now, VCV, it's actually fueling uh, to the growth further. Wonderful, that's good news. Yeah. Thank you so much, Mr. Gagandeep, yes. for being it's with us. It's a pleasure to have you here. Thank you so much. Okay, bye-bye. Thank you.